We went to space. Nighttime entertainment is coming back to Disneyland. More meet and greets are popping up all over Disney World. Buckle up, my friends. All the latest Disney news is starting right now. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Vlog. Yes, we finally went to space aboard the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. There is a minor but also major change to how Genie Plus now operates. We have show times for returning entertainment, read parades, and of course, all the latest Disney merchandise. We're gonna start talking a little bit about the Star Wars Hotel. That opening is the big news this week. Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser officially opens on March 1st, but if you wanna see what it's all about, the whole truth about this brand new wildly immersive experience, check out our video. I had a great time on the Star Cruiser, but I am absolutely exhausted. I think I could sleep for about four days because that is what it feels like when you get off the Star Cruiser, when you get out of space. There's so much going on on that ship. Please watch the video, even if you're mildly interested. There's so much to tell. And we've got more videos coming up next week to answer every single one of your Star Wars hotel questions. All right, let's talk about those changes to Genie Plus. Disney World guests can now skip the lines at some of the most popular popular attractions in the parks, either by using Genie Plus or individual attraction selection, both of which are paid systems that replace FastPass Plus. Certain rides are available through Genie Plus, while others are only available through individual attraction selections. But just what rides will be on which list is about to change for a limited time. Disney's just announced that three rides, which are normally available through individual attraction selection only, by the way, that means they're more expensive, will now be available through the regular Genie Plus service through August 7th. That change started yesterday. So which rides are changing at Epcot, Frozen Ever After, at Magic Kingdom, Space Mountain, and at Hollywood Studios, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. That means that from now until August 7th, if you want to skip the standby lines for these rides, you won't need to pay for them separately through individual attraction selection. Instead, they'll just be included in the regular Genie Plus service, which is $15 per person per day. And you can select a return time for these rides through Genie Plus. If you're still confused by Genie and everything that comes along with it, check out our other Genie videos here on YouTube. Also, go to our website, DisneyFoodBlog.com, to read about all of our tips and tricks to help you get the best out of this new system. The other major news this week, Main Street Electrical Parade and the Disneyland Forever Fireworks will return to Disneyland Park and World of Color will return to Disney California Adventure Park on April 22nd, 2022. But wait, there's more. Fantasmic will return to Disneyland Park. I know, you got excited, right? On May 28th, 2022. And that's not all. When Main Street Electrical Parade returns to Disneyland, it will be celebrating its 50th anniversary. So in honor of the milestone, exciting new elements will be introduced to the parade. These include an all-new Enchanted Grand Finale. This will celebrate the theme of togetherness inspired by both the original design of classic Main Street Electrical Parade floats and Disney legend Mary Blair's iconic art style on It's a Small World. This new finale of the parade will have scenes from classic and contemporary Disney movies like Encanto, yeah, that's right, The Jungle Book, Raya and the Last Dragon, Aladdin, Coco, Mulan, Brave, The Princess and the Frog, and more. Main Street Electrical Parade and Disneyland Forever will be available for a limited time at Disneyland Park. When the Disneyland Forever Fireworks Spectacular comes back on April 22nd, it'll run weekends only, Friday through Sunday. Mickey's Mixed Magic Fireworks will happen during the week, Monday through Thursday, until late spring. And after that, the Disneyland Forever Fireworks will then run nightly in the summer. World of Color and Fantasmic will return to their regular schedule upon reopening. Now, if you're planning a quick little single day trip to Disney World, we've got another change with Genie Plus that could impact your day. Disney made a slight change to the Genie guidelines. It's kind of a blink and you'll miss it change, but a few small words can really make a big difference. According to Disney, guests hoping to buy Genie Plus for single day use must purchase the service through the My Disney Experience app on the same day of their visit. This means the guests who want to purchase a one day ticket to Disney World cannot buy Genie Plus ahead of time anymore. They must wait to make the upgrade until the day of their trip. Now, this add-on benefit is only available ahead of time for guests applying Genie Plus to a multi-day ticket. Disney Genie can feel confusing and all that language can start to blur together, but we got tons of posts, like I said, that break down all the parts of Genie and Genie Plus. Although this little change might not seem like a big deal, it does serve as an important reminder that Disney can change the way Genie Plus works at any time. And Festival of Fantasy Parade time. Back in 2021, we found out that the classic Festival of Fantasy Parade is returning to Disney World, but now our more recent discovery proves that the big return date is quickly approaching. The Festival of Fantasy Parade is set to return on March 9th, 2022. We already know that the event will feature the giant fire-breathing Maleficent dragon, plus those colorful floats inspired by some classic Disney characters. 
and the parade will make its way through the Magic Kingdom twice daily. But until now, we didn't know what time the parade would start. Now, showtimes are available on the My Disney Experience app, and for the first week, March 9th to March 12th, the parade will run at 11.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Then starting on March 13th, the parade will start at 12 p.m. and 3 p.m., back to the 3 o'clock parade. And right now, showtimes are only available through April 2022, but it seems like the parade will continue to run at 12 and 3 each day. Keep in mind that these showtimes are subject to change, and the parade may be canceled in the event of bad weather. When the parade finally kicks off, though, we'll be sure to give you a first look. We've got meet and greet news next. For a long time, Queen Anna and Queen Elsa visited guests outside in the Norway Pavilion. We loved meeting them, but they were kind of far away. Luckily, the Royal Summer House is open again, and Anna and Elsa are meeting guests inside. When we visited, the wait time was only 15 minutes, even on a holiday weekend. During our visit, there was not a photo pass photographer available to take pictures for us, but cast members can still take photos with your camera. You can check the My Disney Experience app for the most accurate wait times when you're there. And we've got menus for the Flower and Garden Festival. Yep, the 2022 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival will be here soon. The festival starts on March 2nd and runs all the way until July 4th, 2022. This year's festival will feature the return of the Garden Rocks concert series, some fun activities for the whole family, and of course, lots of tasty treats. We've already seen the full list of booths released, but now we've got full menus for every single booth. For the 2022 festival, we'll get to enjoy a bunch of new items as well as some returning favorites at the festival's 18 outdoor kitchen slash booths and additional locations. At the 2022 festival, there are no new booths, but there are some new menu items. Over at the Citrus Blossom, there will be a new crispy mojo marinated pork belly with avocado cream, corn salsa, salsa verde and plantain chips, and a grapefruit tart with grapefruit curd, lychee jam, ginger mousse, and yuzu cream. At Tangerine Cafe, flavors of the Medina will get a new Mediterranean flatbread with za'atar, artichokes, olives, mozzarella, and feta cheese. At La Isla Fresca, there will be a new arepa topped with chorizo and the new non-alcoholic tropical breeze drink that will have lemonade, grapefruit juice, and simple syrup. And the Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival is also starting soon. That festival will run from March 4th through April 26th this year. There will be plenty of returning items along with brand new ones like peanut butter and jelly mac, that's right, peanut butter and jelly mac and cheese from the Nuts About Cheese booth. For the full list of menu items for both festivals, head over to our website at DisneyFoodBlog.com. Hey, St. Patrick's Day is fast approaching and there are a few different ways to celebrate in Disney World, but the best place to be will be Raglan Road in Disney Springs. Raglan hosts the mighty St. Patrick's Day Festival every year to celebrate the mother of all Irish holidays. This year, the festival will take place from March 11th through the 17th. Every day during that week, there's going to be special live entertainment both in the restaurant and on the patio. Of course, the Raglan Road Irish dancers will be performing throughout the festival. You will need a reservation for this restaurant if you're planning to visit between March 11th and March 16th. You can book your table on Raglan Road's website. If you want to go on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, note that Raglan Road is not accepting any reservations for this day. Entrance will be first come, first serve. A $20 cover charge will be required for all guests 18 and older on March 17th only. And the Wine and Dine Half Marathon Weekend has been announced. It's going to take place from November 3rd through the 6th, 2022, which is still a ways away. But don't let that lull you into a false sense of security. These races open for registration early, and they sell out in minutes. So if you're hoping to run in the 5K, 10K, Half Marathon, or Two Course Challenge during that weekend, be ready to register right at 10 a.m. Eastern on March 22nd, 2022. That's when registration for the in-person races opens up to the general public. If you're a club run Disney Gold or Platinum member, you can register for in-person races starting March 15th, 2022 at 10 a.m. Eastern. Registration will remain open for several months, but it's better to book your spot early because the races do sell out. This race weekend includes a post-race party on November 6, 2022 for runners who compete the half marathon or two course challenge. The event does not cost extra for those runners. It's included in their registration fee. Disney said they will release further details about obtaining a ticket for this post-race party later on. Tickets for runners in the 5K or 10K, as well as friends and family who are not running running will go on sale on March 22nd, 2022. If you'd prefer to run in the virtual races, registration for those events opens on March 25th, 2022 at 10 a.m. Eastern. You can head to our website at DisneyFoodBlog.com for all the details. 
And souvenir cups for Goofy's Glaciers are back in Disney World. We found them first over at Big Top Treats in Magic Kingdom. You can get them with a glacier inside for $10.99. There are only three flavors to choose from right now, but you can mix them and layer them if you want. By the way, we're talking about the glaciers, not the cups. The options are Fruit Punch, Lemonade, and Powerade Mountain Berry Blast. We also saw them over at Zuri's Sweets Shop in Animal Kingdom and Candy Cauldron in Disney Springs. So happy slushy drinking. This is a fun souvenir you can take home with you and use again and again to add a little more Disney to your day. In merchandise news, we got a sneak peek at the Pirates Mickey Mouse collection. If you've been looking forward to the February release of the Mickey Mouse The Main Attraction merchandise series, you are in luck. It's coming very soon. Today, Shop Disney UK shared a preview of the items on Instagram and we're already making our wish list. The February theme is Pirates of the Caribbean and each of the items features a nod to the attraction. We've got a collectible key, a pin, a plush Mickey Mouse, a mini lounge fly backpack, and a pair of ears. They're all decked out in black and gold this time. The post notes that the items will be available on February 25th, but it's not clear if that date is just for the UK release or for the US as well. Whenever Disney drops new limited edition or limited release collections, it seems that people flock to the theme parks. And when those same items arrive online, we often find ourselves in online wait rooms on Shop Disney because fans get so excited to purchase the next big souvenir. And we have a feeling it'll happen again with this new release coming soon. So be prepared. We've got Dooney and Burke's newest Disney collection. It's all about the mouse who started it all, Steamboat Willie. The collection is available online now, and we also found it in the parks. To start off, there's the Mickey Mouse tote bag. It's available for $2.68. If the tote bag is just a little bit too much for you, don't worry. You can grab the smaller and cheaper crossbody instead. It's $2.28 and features the same new Steamboat Willie print. Finally, we got to mention the backpack. This one's $2.48 and would be just right for a day in the parks. So far, they're available at Ever After Jewelry Company in Disney Springs, Uptown Jewelers in Magic Kingdom, and Creations Shop in Epcot. And honestly, we're really trying hard not to spend money here. This may be one of our favorite Dooney collections yet. Now, do you ever want to bring home some Disney smells with you? I'm talking about those park smells so many people are obsessed with, like the pirate's water and gunpowder, Rome, Alexandria, that burning smell on Spaceship Earth, and all the fun smells on Soren. It seems like a pretty great merchandising opportunity for Disney, but we haven't really seen them dive too deep into the candle world until now. This week, we found two candles themed to Disney movies and characters. First is a Winnie the Pooh honey candle and smells like, yeah, honey. The second is a poison apple candle that smells like, you got it, apple. We found them over in Magic Kingdom at the Emporium. Both of them are $34.99. And we also saw them in Disneyland. Now, this idea is intriguing. While these first candles aren't necessarily Disney parks smells, it has me wondering, will Disney do that next? Who knows? Until then, let me know what your favorite Disney smell is in the comments. And that wraps it up for news this week. My friends, Disney loves to keep us on our toes with news, and it's not lightening up anytime soon. If you really want to stay up to date with all things Disney, then subscribe to our newsletter. It's totally free. You can click the link in the description box and sign up right now. We send all the latest and super important info straight to your inbox. It's totally free. If you're interested, click the link. Thanks for listening, everyone. And thanks for watching. As always, I'm AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.